The Road to Ever After came to life a, in an interesting kind of way, I guess you would say. Um, it was while I was writing the second book of The Dustlands, Rebel Heart, and I was fully engaged in that, working against a deadline, and uh, asleep, and I was awakened very insistently by my unconscious, uh, which said, wake up, wake up, I have an idea, I have an idea, quickly, quickly, get some paper, get a pen, and uh, so I did. I groggily reached for a pen and paper and it dictated um, a title and uh, a scenario and I wrote it all down and the next morning I typed it up and um, it turned out that it gave me uh, the working title for this book which was uh, for a long time um, Here Pass No Angels which um, gave me some clues about uh, the book and what it might be about. Very few clues. And from that interruption to my sleep, I also knew that it would be about a 13-year-old boy. It would be the story of a 13-year-old boy and an old woman and a dog on a journey together. And that was the first inkling I had that uh, this would be my book once I'd finished not just the second book of the Dustlands, but the third book. So. It wasn't until um, four years after that dream that I was able to start work on uh, what would become The Road to Ever After.